Hi, this is a short video to showcase some of the features of the PowerPoint Inking Toolbar. This is a free program that you can download from my group's website. It allows you to more easily annotate slides during a PowerPoint slideshow. It can be especially useful for online lectures. And probably the best part of it is that it's free and completely customizable. The toolbar is an auto hotkey script which means that you will first need to install the free software auto hotkey on your computer before you can use the toolbar. And then you can just double click on the script file to start the toolbar. Alternatively, you can also use the free PowerPoint inking toolbar add-in, which will allow you to start the toolbar automatically whenever a PowerPoint slideshow is started. So if you decide to install the add-in, when you open up PowerPoint, you're going to see in the ribbon a PowerPoint inking toolbar tab. And if you go on there and you enable, whenever you start a slideshow, the toolbar is going to automatically show up. You can move this toolbar around. In fact, when you edit it, you can decide if it's going to be vertical or horizontal. And here are the default buttons that are found on the toolbar. And if you edit the settings for this toolbar, you can change all the buttons here. You can change the order. You can add new buttons. You can delete some of them. So the first one is you can move the toolbar. There's a menu here. One of the difficulties in teaching online with PowerPoint is that the cursor is often difficult to see. So there are two buttons on the default configuration of the toolbar that might help you with this. In one click, you are able to activate the laser function in PowerPoint. Now, one of the cool things about this toolbar is that it allows you to do some things that are not normally doable in PowerPoint. For example, if you're using a more recent version of PowerPoint, this toolbar will allow you to use the laser pointer at the same time as you're using a pen or the highlighter or the eraser for. For example, the laser is currently activated and then I can go and use the toolbar to select the blue pen. And now I can write with the blue pen and still have the laser activated. Can also use the highlighter in the same way or use the eraser in the same way. Now, if you're not using one of the latest versions of PowerPoint, the laser will act normally in that it will deactivate whatever tool you were using before activating the laser. So then if you're looking for another way to highlight the pointer that's going to be more permanent, you can use the highlight function that's available on the toolbar. Now, this button will create a colored halo around the cursor that makes it more visible for your lecturers or for your students. A big advantage of this toolbar is that it allows you to very quickly switch between different colors of the pen annotation tool. Another very important aspect is that the toolbar is completely customizable. So for example, if you don't like having the toolbar on the side here, you can go to the menu and make it more transparent. And you can go even further. If you don't want to see the toolbar on the screen, you can actually completely hide it. And then you can use some of its functions, even when the toolbar is hidden, by using hotkeys. For example, in the toolbar settings, I have set different hotkeys for the different pens. So for example, when I click K on my keyboard, it switches to the black pen. When I click U, it switches to the blue pen. When I click R, it switches to the red pen. I've also added a shortcut to show and hide the toolbar. For example, if I go Control H, it's going to show the toolbar again. Some of the neat features on this toolbar is that you can use the eraser very easily to erase some of the inkings, or you can just use this erase all ink button to erase all the ink on the on the slide.
One of the most exciting features of this toolbar is that you can add slides during a slideshow. So for example, if you're explaining something on a slide and then you need more space to explain something, you can just click on the add blank slide button and now it adds a completely new slide that can be used as a whiteboard to explain things with annotations. You can also use the toolbar to navigate. For example, there is a previous slide, there is a next slide button. There are buttons to start the slideshow or to end the slideshow. As was mentioned before, one of the big advantages of this toolbar is that it can be completely customized. For example, if you go in the menu and then go in toolbar options, and then go in edit toolbar settings you can change the layout of the toolbar you can make it horizontal you can make it more or less transparent you can add or delete buttons or change their order also in that menu there are many functions that can be useful when you present a slideshow for example there's a sub menu for connecting to a projector for controlling the volume and sound for controlling the Wi-Fi and airplane mode. There are the Windows settings and the Windows control panel. During a slideshow, you might want to show the taskbar so that you can switch with a different window. So there is an option to show the Windows taskbar. There are also options to show and hide the toolbar or to exit the toolbar. If you're interested in using a toolbar, again, it's completely free. Here are some simple instructions. So you're going to need to install the free auto hotkey program on your computer that's available at this link here. Then you can visit my website to download the script for this toolbar. Once you've installed auto hotkey, you can start the toolbar by double clicking on its file. If you are interested in using instead the PowerPoint add-in to automatically start the toolbar whenever a slideshow is started, then you'll need to follow the instructions that are provided on my website. If you were already using a previous version of the toolbar and the add-in, you can look just below this video to see the full list of changes that were made from the previous version. The add-in is now fully compatible with all versions of PowerPoint on which it has been tested, including the more recent PowerPoint 2019, PowerPoint 365, and the 64-bit version of PowerPoint.